Hi, my name is Ian McCullough. I'm the Physical Sciences Librarian at University of Akron, and this presentation is on using some physical references in the Science and Technology Library to find vapor-liquid equilibrium data. So why use physical references instead of a computer search? In this case, because it will take you less time. Many of the articles you will find are from the 50s, 40s, or earlier. These articles do not have scanned full text, so unless the components of your system are in the title, it won't show up in a computer search. First, we're going to look at and talk about vapor-liquid equilibrium data bibliography by Wichterly, shown here. Any bibliography is a list of works on a topic, and Wichterly has hundreds of references to articles with experimental vapor-liquid equilibria. System components are in hill order in the left-hand column. Number of carbons, then hydrogens, but otherwise alphabetic by element. In the second column is the binary component, and finally the references are on the right side. I'll be showing you an example soon. This is an example of hill order. First carbons, then hydrogens, but alphabetic by element, and then chemical name otherwise. Refer back to this slide later if you have issues finding a substance. This is a scan from Wichterly, and circled are the two system components. In this case, hydrogen and cyclohexane. It does not matter which component you look up first. The first list of numbers on the far right are the references. These are the numbers you look up in the back of the book. We're going to use 1246 as an example. So we flip to the back, in this case to page 960, and reference 1246 is in the red box. This is a reference to a published article that you now have to look up. Look up the journal title in our library catalog. If the reference confuses you, for example, if you don't know what end eng chem means, use cassie.cas.org to figure out the full journal title from the abbreviation. Just type the abbreviation into the search box and you'll get a list of possible journal titles. For most ACS journals, like Industrial and Engineering Chemistry, Akron has a full text subscription. You can download the full text and read the experimental data. This particular example would have been difficult to find with a typical keyword search because neither hydrogen nor cyclohexane are in the article title. The chemical data series published by Dekema has many volumes and cover a wide range of vapor liquid and vapor vapor equilibria. In addition to the literature reference, Dekema often reproduces the data. The set is found right next to Wichterly on the science reference shelves. For the spring 2013 semester, you will only have to use Volume 1, Part 1 by Gamaling and Volume 6, Part 1 by Knapp. For aqueous organic systems data collection, water is always first. So for binary systems, you only have to find the second component, in this example, methanol. The rightmost column gives you the page range, circled in red, for the system in question. Once you get the page range, you have to browse and look at the experimental conditions to find a set of experimental data that fits your process. Although data tables are reproduced in this reference, you should still look up the original article and check for yourself. Things are slightly different in the low boiling substances reference, which has VLE data for helium, hydrogen, and other gases with very low boiling points. Again, look up your first component by hill order, it doesn't matter which one. As an example, we have the entry for acetylene. Indented are the second components. Find the one of interest and on the right hand side will be a letter code and a number or number range. Our example is acetylene ethane. There are two literature surveys and a data bank in the low boiling chemical data series. LS1 or LS2 points you to the surveys and their references. DB is for the data bank, which also includes experimental data. The number is the page or page range for the system you looked up. For the literature surveys, you go to the pages instructed and find the box, which I've outlined in red here, in the right hand column with your system components in it. Under the box and over to the left are numbers for literature references. Find one that looks promising based on having an EX for experimental and within the proper temperature and pressure ranges. Flip to the end of the survey to look up the reference number. In this example, 780. Outlined in red is what you find if you flip to Literature Survey 1's reference 780. 
another article from Industrial and Engineering Chemistry. Look up the article with the reference, use the library catalog, and download the paper. If you use the data bank in the Low Boiling Substances Chemical Data Series, the directions are similar to the literature surveys. You find your system the same way, but go to a different part of the book, in this case, pages 333 to 335. You will get both a reference and a table of reproduced data. The data bank also helps by showing the experimental values before having to select an article to investigate. Again, use the reference to look up the original research in the library catalog. When selecting the reference you want to track down, I would point out these four journals that appear frequently in both Wichterly and Dekema that Akron has full text access to. If you need help using these resources, or any other aspect of the library, contact me and I'll be happy to help.